Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Civil Brains. So in this video, we'll try to understand how to understand the flat slab system drawings. So in the previous video, I had explained you the entire drawing of this. How is the plan of this entire building? So today we will understand about the reinforcement about the footing details. So you can see this is a footing layout what they have given, and this is how your footing will look. So they have given a different name to that. We'll try to understand. So all these are your retaining walls. The one all these are the columns which are green in color and these things whatever you can see right here so all these are the retaining wall they have given okay wherever we have a boundary we need to provide a retaining wall so that uh, uh, i mean so that it's like it's a it's a protection to your building okay yeah now coming to the footing details so each of the footing they have given a name like this footing name is c this footing name is also c here the footing name is c so this way wherever we have footing you know they have given a different name like this footing name is e so this footing name is D. So this way, wherever we have a column, there will be a footing beneath that. And everywhere they are given a name. Now, if you want to know what is the size of this footing, for that you have to come to the reinforcement details part. That is a tabular column where you get each and everything. Here they have given a type, like he has mentioned A, B, then it is C, D, and E. So whatever columns, we, whatever footings we had seen, right? If you want to see the size, you have to come here. And here it will be mentioned. Suppose if the footing type is B, the size of your footing is six feet by six feet. If your footing is C, it is eight feet by eight feet. If your footing is D, it is 10 feet by 10 feet. If your footing is E, it is 12 feet by 12 feet. Now coming to the depth of your footing. So your B footing, the depth is 24 inches, which means it's a 600 mm. 600 mm, right? Yeah, 600 mm. So again, uh, C footing, it is a 27 inch. D footing, it is a 30 inch. E footing, it is a 34 inch. The depth of the footing is also mentioned. Along with that, the next thing is about the reinforcement. It's a footing reinforcement. X bar along the longer span, Y bar along the shorter span. So you need to provide a 10 diameter bar at four inches center to center spacing uh, in the B footing along the shorter and the longer span. Same thing, when you come to the C footing, you need to provide a 12 diameter bar at four inches center to center along the shorter span and longer span. So this way, if you come to the E footing, which is having a size of 12 feet by 12 feet, having a depth of 34 inches, you need to provide a 16 diameter bar at four inches center to center spacing in both shorter and longer span. Along with that, since uh, we have given a pedestal here, so this is how a pedestal looks. If you look here, so the footing is done, right? This was the footing part. Now, after the footing, we are giving a pedestal. So this is a pedestal. Over the pedestal, your column is going to come. So practically, it will look something like this. Let me show you the practical image. So practically, it will look something like this. Suppose if this is a footing, I mean, not suppose, this is a footing, okay? So on the footing, whatever they have given, no, up to this height. So this will be a pedestal. So once your pedestal is casted, then we are going to do the casting of the column, okay? So the pedestal size will be bigger in comparison to your column sizes. So that is why the pedestal, I mean, that is how the pedestal is given. Hmm? Yeah. Now we'll go back to the drawing. So you understood the concept here. So come back. Come back to this part. Here it is mentioned pedestal size. So the pedestal, the 18 inches will be what? It is written here PL. PL means pedestal length. PW means pedestal width. And H is the height of your pedestal. So the length of your pedestal, the length of your pedestal is 18 inches, 24 inches, and 24 inches. To put it in a better way, so if I explain this on this particular image, so this will be my 18 inch. So this will be my 18 inches. And then this will be my 24 inches. And this height, what you can see, you know, this height. So this height will be 24 inches. So same thing is mentioned in your AutoCAD drawing, where it is 18 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches. Understood, no? So this way, wherever we have a pedestal, no, they're going to mention you the width of the pedestal, length of the pedestal, and the height of the pedestal. So this, is, this was all about the pedestal. So once the pedestal is understood, the next thing is about the column. So this is your column now. Once the pedestal is done, you can see here, this will be a column. So this part will be a column now. So for column, it will start like this. All your reinforcement will go like this, okay? Of course, this reinforcement will be coming from the bottom only it will come, okay? Only the thing is for pedestal, the additional reinforcement will come, which will stop, stop at this particular level. You can see here, right? So at this particular level, your column pedestal reinforcement is going to end. What will be the height of it? It's already mentioned. It has to go up to the 
it will be mentioned here it has to go up to 24 inches after 24 inches you are going to cut off the reinforcement of the pedestal and a column reinforcement will be extended to the next floor okay yeah yeah so that is how it is so now you let me go back to this again now coming to the reinforcement here so column pedestal reinforcement it is mentioned here you can see typical footing detail they have mentioned and here he is going to tell you how your pedestal will look so your pedestal will be like this so try to understand this so this will be a footing up to here after the footing this much will be a pedestal let me change the color of the pedestal your pedestal will go up to this height and after the pedestal the remaining area this much will be a column reinforcement all this will be a column reinforcement so what are the reinforcement for the pedestal it is mentioned here you are supposed to provide a 12 diameter bar of eight number it is mentioned here okay. yeah you need to provide a 12 diameter bar of eight number in the pedestal so this is how your pedestal will go and this h whatever you can see you know this h is the height of your pedestal okay so understood all those things it will be mentioned here based on that we are going to provide the reinforcement hmm? so for all the this thing you are supposed to provide a 12 diameter of eight number of bar here so this way and then for the pedestal you are supposed to provide the lateral ties also that will be also mentioned here now come to the column reinforcement so all these are your column reinforcements now so for this particular column like if if there is a b footing and over the b footing you have this particular column whose size is mentioned here you have a breadth of the column of 9 inches and the depth of the column that is the length of your column is 18 inches and this is how you are supposed to provide a reinforcement so you are supposed to provide a 20 diameter 4 bar and you are supposed to provide a 12 diameter 2 bar in this way so this 1 2 3 and 4 this four are your 20 diameter 4 bar 1 2 3 4 this are your 20 diameter 4 bar and in between you have to provide a 12 diameter 2 bar got it yeah so this is how the reinforcement details are to be understood okay in the same way the next one we have uh, for the d footing so d footing the size of your pedestal is 24 inch sorry the size of your column is 24 inches by 24 inches and then this is a reinforcement given you are supposed to provide a 24 25 diameter 4 bar and 20 diameter 16 bar so here they did not mention where is your 25 diameter 4 bar and 20 diameter 16 bar uh, usually uh, whatever is a bigger diameter of the bar no that will be placed at the outer side that means this one second bar third bar and fourth bar will be my 25 diameter 4 bar rest all bar will be my 20 diameter 16 bar okay yeah 20 diameter 16 number of bar so this way you are supposed to understand the drawing so this is for the basement floor next for the ground floor next we have first floor second floor third floor and fourth floor so this way all your columns will go in this way your level one from here the same thing will continue okay this same thing will continue here but when you come to the top floor your column reinforcement will reduce a bit size will never change whatever size you start from the basement that is 9 inch by 24 inches the same size will continue till the last floor only the difference what you can see is will be the in the reinforcement number for example if you see here see here it was mentioned 20 diameter 4 bar and 16 diameter 2 bar right but when you came here what happened it has come down to 20 diameter 2 bar and it has come down to 16 diameter 4 bar here it was 20 diameter 4 bar and 16 diameter 2 bar here it has come to 20 diameter 2 bar and it has come to 16 diameter 4 bar okay only the thing is uh, uh, the the diameter of the bar will reduce but the number of bar will be same like 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 2 is also 6 only instead of 20 diameter 4 bar in the last floor we are providing a 20 diameter 2 bar and instead of 16 diameter 2 bar we are providing a 16 diameter 4 bar so 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 will not change the number of bar we'll try to play with the diameter of the bar okay so that the lapping will be easy for you to do so this was all about the uh, reinforcement details and explained you about the pedestal details and all other things so in the next lecture we'll try to see about how the uh, other details are also given we we'll also try to understand how the reinforcement is given for the slab right now we understood only the footing and the column we we'll also try to understand the plinth uh, the layout for the beams also plinth beam layout you can see here pb1 pb2 is given and then the interesting part will be about the slab reinforcement because here it's not about the crank bar and all since it is a flat slab system we have different way of providing a bar here 
so those things we'll try to see in the upcoming lectures so if you like my lectures uh, do do not subscribe to the channel now there are other videos of mine where there are a lot of things which i have covered go through the entire videos and if you feel my videos are helping you then you can enroll in my course enroll in my uh, subscribe to my channel other than that if you feel like i'm the right person to teach you all these things in a more better way uh, then you can enroll in my courses you can download my civil brains app or my courses are available on the udemy platform you can directly buy from there also so there are different courses like you know how to do the site execution it's a complete 60 hours of a site execution course it's a course on advanced quantity estimation where i teach you the entire estimation for almost 50 hours is a drawing reading course whatever you are learning from here right all these things i'll explain it in a more better way in my drawing reading course so if you click on the drawing reading course it's almost a 30 35 hours of the content where i teach you the drawing reading of a residential building then a commercial building a uh, lot of things hostel building is there industry building is covered lot of things i'm going to cover in my drawing reading course where we try to understand the logic behind all the reinforcement details and all and there are if you want to enroll in all of my courses then you can uh, enroll in the construction manager mastery course which has more than 500 hours of the content so for 142 students have enrolled in this course and uh, it includes all my courses that is site execution estimation drawing reading then bar bedding schedule then you have interview preparation billing engineering concrete technology practical aspects of construction ms project primavera autocad revit etabs and all so in future also there will be many things which i'll be adding in the courses on apartment construction and all so all those things will be getting in this particular construction manager mastery course so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you